By now, you will have received an email from the symposium organizers alerting you to the symposium's interactive social media site. Click on the first URL. You will be directed to a login page where you will be prompted to change your password. You may also choose to upload a picture of yourself. Click on the personal information tab and you can include some information about yourself as well as a link to your web page. Finally, you can integrate a Twitter account. Now click the Future of Reading icon. The main pages are organized according to the day's events. Click on the arrows to navigate to various days. In the left column, you'll find information on speakers as well as interactive sessions. In the middle column, you'll find a search function, a Twitter feed, as well as a tag cloud where the popularity of a particular tag is indicated by size. In the right column, you'll find important functions, information on recent updates, and finally, popular content. Hashtags are used to organize the Twitter feed. The general hashtag for the symposium is RIT Read. In addition, individual speaker sessions, as well as interactive sessions, have their own hashtag, which are listed in the tweet column of the page. Also, these individual hashtags will be announced before each event. Access further information and edit pages by clicking on a specific event. Here you will find a bio of the speaker as well as an abstract for the session. In addition, you'll find a series of tabs. The revision tab allows you to see the history for the page, each revision made, when, and by whom. The discussion tab allows you to see the discussion about the contents of the page. Click on the Edit button and you will see this editing field. Below the title, you'll find a keyword section where you can add metadata keywords. Below this, you'll find a collaborative content field. The editing field has a WYSIWYG palette. What you see is what you get. You can create and edit text, upload images, embed video. Now, let's create something. Type in some text. This is the header 2 format, as you can see in the upper right hand corner of the formatting palette. Now let's create some normal text beneath. Whenever you mouse over the various buttons in the WYSIWYG editor, you will see what they do. Now, let's add a link. Put in the URL, hit save. Go to the bottom of the page where you see formatting guidelines and hit the red button to save. Now, let's upload an image. Click on this button and you will get a field that has you choose an image from your hard drive. Choose that image and click Upload Image. Once the image is uploaded, you'll be prompted to add a title, align the image, and size the image. Click Insert and the image will appear in the editing field. Now you can move the image further by simply mousing over it and dragging it to the position that you prefer. When you have positioned the image properly, go to the bottom of the page and click the red save button. The image will now appear on the page. Finally, let's upload a video. Go to the upper right hand column and click on the upload video button. You will now see this particular field where you were prompted to choose a file. Select that file and click upload. When the blue spinning arrow stops, that means the video is uploaded. Now assign a title, keywords, and a description if you choose. Go to the bottom and click save. The video is now being sent to YouTube for processing, which should take approximately five minutes. After five minutes, go to our YouTube site. You'll find that your video appears. Go below and click on the share button. Copy the URL and let's use that URL to create a new page for our video. Go to the upper right corner, create a new topic, and you will find the editing field that you've seen before. Now enter the simple video syntax. Bracket, the word video, colon, the URL for the video, close bracket, assign a title. Now go below and click the red save button. In a moment, your video will appear, appear on the page appropriately sized. 
You can use the same formatting to embed video from virtually any video sharing site.